गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हियर आई एम गिविंग यू लिटिल बिट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन एलगोरथम्स सो दैट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस सेक्शन टेन पॉइंट थ्री ऑफ योर बुक वी विल टेक द मल्टीप्लीकेशन एलगोज so numbers are represented in two form as you know sign magnitude numbers and two's complement form so we will multiply the sign magnitude numbers in well algorithm and in second algorithm which is called a booth algorithm we will take two's complement representation numbers multiplication so now you first take sign magnitude number multiplication so so multiplicand is in b s b that is b s is the sign bit and b is magnitude multiplier is in q s q so q s is sign bit and q is magnitude so if we multiply the magnitude it is a normal course of mathematics multiplying so say i want to multiply 23 by 19 so these are the magnitudes only sign is not here sign will take care later on so <clears throat> this is the number Twenty three. This is the number nineteen, and this is the general course of multiplication. That we, would, if multiplier have a one bit one, then this is as it is added, and the intermediate result is shifted next time when we take this one, and <coughs> the multiplicand is added. If zeros are there in the multiplier, then it is only shifting is done. nothing is added finally here is one in multiplicand multiplier so multiplicand is again added after shifting of intermediate results and this is addition so <coughs> you should also understand that if two numbers bsb and qsq are being multiplied then if size of each of these is 1 byte then result will be of size 2 byte so come here and see how it is numbers are stored hardware is arranged so here you can see that there is a b register which will take the multiplicand and there is a q register which will take the multiplier register a is additional so that our result will be in a and q combinedly so <coughs> a and q combinedly will hold the result two bytes of result so b register is multiplicand and q is multiplier so see here we always watch on q n and q n if it is 1 then we add the multiplicand into the register a and then we shift this so that one q n bit will be out and next bit will come for observation at the same time whatever was stored in a that is intermediate result that is also shifted this side so one bit of the result will go to the q register so at the same time one bit of the multiplier is out and one bit of multiplier will become the bit of result so if we do same thing for say eight times that is sequence counter is counting then one by one the bits are shifted out from the q register and a new bit that is a uh, bit of intermediate result is shifted to q so as and bs are representing your sign bits and this e bit is an extra bit so that will hold initially zero and then if the result is too large then it will hold an additional bit so here you can see the flow chart multiplicand in b multiplier in q so first of all you decide the sign bit of the result how to decide the sign bit q s and b s multiplicand and multiplier sign bit if they are same or they are not same if they are same that means positive result 
पॉजिटिव रिजल्ट सो क्यू एस एक्स और बी एस विल बी जीरो इफ बोथ आर सेम देन रिजल्ट विल गो टू ए एस दैट इज पॉजिटिव अदरवाइज इट विल बी नेगेटिव वन विल बी स्टोर्ड इन दिस नाउ यू सी दैट क्यू एस ऑल्सो हैव क्यू एस एंड बी एस दैट मीन्स द साइन बिट ऑफ क्यू एस इज ऑल्सो ऑल्टर्ड आफ्टर deciding the sign bit of result initially a is having zero means register a is empty zero it is holding zero e bit is also zero and sequence counter is initiate initiated with n bits now you he see here we observe the q n bit that is multipliers rightmost bit then if it is one it means we need to add so multiply multiplicand b is added to a register if it is zero then we do not add but only shift so shift is done in both the cases like after adding after not adding directly shifting so if it is zero we shift it what is being shifted shift right e a q means one bit rightmost bit of q will go out and uh one bit of a will shift to q and when sc counter will go zero till then all eight bits of q will be out that is multiplier is out and result is stored in e a and q combinedly so if sequence counter goes zero we process and else we see again the q n bit so you study this algorithm this is easy to understand how the multiplication is being performed on signed magnitude represented numbers booth algorithm is another algorithm which is used to multiply two's complement representation numbers so how the booth algorithm works i will take in the subsequent video